Today, we need to talk about Suga getting dragged online over something that is not his fault. Is it ever really their fault when they are dragged though? But then we also have Suga and the controversial military issue. And then of course, we need to talk about people protesting Hive. Learning a new skill is so important, so Skillshare and I have something to share. On Skillshare, you can have the ability to learn and do new tasks and skills. So if you want to be an artist, a boxer, or even learn how to sing, so you can sing with BTS one day, there's classes for you. For example, this one person by the name of Gabrielle Brickley goes over the material that you would need to learn to paint. So once you buy all the supplies, you can start this new hobby right away and have a professional guide you through. There's also new videos being added and never any ads. So the first 1,000 of you dumplings who use the link below will get one month free. Please take advantage of this, it's literally free. Go down in the description and thank them for sponsoring today's video. If you're in Korea and you've been near the high building, you would have for sure seen some of the protest billboard trucks and you would probably wonder what is going on. Although I do assume if you live in Korea, you can probably read it, so maybe you do know. But if you are unaware, in Korea, you can send billboard trucks for any specific reason. These are literally trucks with big LED screens and they're literally parked wherever they're asked to be parked. And anyone in that area can see the truck. These trucks are rented out by the day and they're a cheaper alternative than a billboard. Also, in a lot of big cities, for example, like New York, billboards are heavily regulated. So you have the billboards in Times Square, which is the famous part of New York with the lights and TV. And then the rest of New York City, you don't really see as many. So if you do want to buy a billboard to get your message out there in those bigger cities, you may opt for a truck. Someone sent a truck right outside Hybe's building and was protesting various things. As you've probably been aware, a lot of K-pop fans don't really like to keep their opinions unheard and will stop at no cost to make sure their thoughts are heard even if their thoughts are backed up by ignorant beliefs and ill-researched conspiracy theories. Some of which I want to go over today are not exactly ignorant beliefs, but I still think the trucks are a bit much for what I'm about to talk about. So the protest circled around a website called DC Inside. The best comparison to what DC Inside is like would be Reddit, just to give you an idea. Of course, similar to Reddit and even places like Twitter, the nature of the platform breeds hate and people saying negative things. It's just very easy to do so. And so, there apparently is a lot of hate brewing on the site and really bad things said about BTS members and other groups, a lot of which are believed to be completely false and start a lot of hate towards the members. It's also alleged that some parts of the site have been feeding the media outlets false information about the idols, to which I find more difficult to believe. Any reputable site and news company, especially one in Korea, is going to be a bit more cautious when talking about K-pop because as K-pop journalists are aware, the fandom often makes things up. So I don't think the claim should be on the billboard or the premise of the billboard should be around that as that is probably more of an isolated incident and would probably actually discredit the rest of the protest. I think a lot of the people who organize these things need to go back to school and learn how to write a persuasive essay, learn how to cite facts and actually argue well. To be clear, I don't think the billboards name any specific social media site or news outlet, but if you look into why it was there, the fans then cite some of these accounts and news outlets. I think the trucks also have revolving features where they can show multiple things and one of the other things that the truck showed was the dynamic pricing issue with concert tickets which I've talked about before. I think a lot of that issue has more so to do with Live Nation rather than Hive. Dynamic pricing if you don't know is when they change the price due to demand. So if the demand is higher the price will go up. From what I'm aware this has only been done with concert tickets not merch. So I think this is done with an outside source rather than Hive and the current core case with Taylor Swift is fighting against this. Fighting Hybe on this makes no sense to me. Having a truck outside is also embarrassing. And do you think the BTS members seeing the truck outside Hybe would actually make them proud of the fandom or embarrassed? I am opting for embarrassed. Don't get me wrong. I think it's great to be dedicated to a cause or a specific group and be very passionate about what they do. We see that obviously in K-pop and we see it in sports. This is great. But it becomes toxic when you're overly passionate and you become racist or unreasonable. Which is the same thing, right? There's no reason to be racist. A lot of NBA fans are racist. I think they look at the idols that they see on TV for whichever team they like, and they look at those players as real men. Abs, super strong, super fast, gets all the girls, and are the peak of a masculinity. And to an extent, sports have been idolized to the point where it represents the pride of a country. So much so that there almost is no room currently for someone who fits outside the norm of what a man is in sports is supposed to look like. And be 
Asian men have always been seen as more feminine and less quote unquote manly, but the idea of what it is to be a man is different from country to country. People from Asia don't look at things like lack of facial hair or a soft face as a sign of not being manly. They look at things like being a provider, being a leader, being successful, being kind, and being able to raise good kids as a sign of being manly. And in Korea, you're encouraged to have good skin by having a skincare routine and all that. So naturally, when Suga joined the NBA and became the ambassador, he was going to receive a lot of pushback. And Suga is very manly, by the way. Don't get me wrong. If you've seen any of his music videos and stuff, you're going to tell me he's not manly. Stop that. If you would like to join me watching our manly men on Patreon, I will link that in the description. We currently have a $1 tier that has a limited spot, so I hope to see you there. We always have a great time. People were very mad and there were plenty of hate comments and people saying racial slurs. Comments that insinuate he is Chinese. Comments that say he is not a real sports fan. And then people calling him a bandwagon jumper, which makes no sense to me because not that the NBA is not famous, but typically artists don't go into the NBA or represent them. That's something you have to be passionate about and care about. If you don't know how to play basketball, then the NBA won't pick you as the ambassador. And obviously he would still remain famous and successful without joining the NBA because many people, as we can see, who are fans of the NBA are probably not going to be into Suga's music. One of the biggest comments that was going around was that Suga was a very casual fan, but he jumps from team to team. He is the NBA ambassador. He can't pick a team. He might have the team that he loves and goes to see them often before any of this ambassador stuff happened, but he can't have a big bias once he is part of the association. That's not fair. So he has to be kind to everyone. He also has no patriotic incentive to love a team versus another. So he is going to love all of them. I think it's normal for him to love all the teams right now. I just don't see that as a problem. There was a ton of conversations asking him to leave and the NBA fans basically tried to ban and drag him for even being an ambassador. And I hate that because if you simply look into him even a little bit, you'd see right away that he has always loved basketball. But right off the bat, because he's Asian and soft looking, they assume he must not like basketball. But if this was a burly guy with a beard, the assumption would be different, right? The others said he was smug. The amount of times my Asian friends and I have been called smug for literally doing nothing. People have been rude when I make a mistake and they think I did it on purpose. I've been called smug for literally being confused and asked, what did I do wrong? And so many examples. This is just how all of our faces look. And then others were saying that Suga needed to go and enlist already. This also shows they're simply unaware of the contributions Suga has made in Korea and thus was granted the BCS law. The military the military issue with Suga has been a bit controversial. It was rumored that he will not enlist in the normal service where he will learn combat but opt for the office work. This rumor was assumed due to his shoulder injury. Suga still has time before he has to enlist but his name was being dragged in after another idol enlisted and people were saying that Suga was evading the service. So what happened? Let me give the backstory. If you're not aware, Exos Kai recently was basically forced to enlist right away. Korean law states that you can postpone your military service when you're you're called up to five times. This is not the same as the extension BTS was given and has nothing to do with that law. So normally when you're 18 to 28 years old, sometime in there, you'll be called to enlist and then you can postpone that up to five times. Out of the five times, two of those times is allowed to be maybe personal reasons or they don't really specify, they claim it as any miscellaneous reason. So it's vague on purpose, I think. So there's wiggle room. Apparently Kai had already exhausted not both, but all five of those reasons reasons. And thus, according to the law, he has to go immediately. And so he has been gone since May 11th. There was another issue with Kai, and I'll explain why this involves Suga. There was a scandal with Ravi from Vix, who had attempted to evade the service and was allegedly sentenced to court. Ravi and Kai are great friends, and since Kai had postponed so many times, I think there was this belief that Kai would attempt to evade. And that is simply speculation, and really bad speculation. SM Kai's label had mentioned that there was a bit of a rush to get Kai enlisted, and had mentioned a regulation change with the military. Some people think this has something to do with the BTS law. Even then, it makes no sense to blame it on that. And then Suga was blamed for not enlisting and quote unquote evading for so long that this is why Kai was forced to go or a new military regulation had changed. That makes no sense to me because obviously the military is not needing people right now. There's no war happening and they definitely don't lack any soldiers. There's plenty of soldiers and Jin and J-Hope are literally in the service. Suga is not evading the service and Kai being forced to go does not mean Suga is forced to go and nothing like that. Suga still has time and has a lot to do before he has to go. Suga has a song called What Do You Think where the lyrics state
state he will go when it's time. So he has addressed this before and says he will literally go. Let me know what you think. Make sure you check out my Patreon for more videos. Link down below. Thanks for this lovely comment right here. Love you, bye.